My previous video on how the months got their names referenced the introduction of the Julian calendar, but I failed to mention why that change was even necessary and what changes we've made since. So let's talk about leap days. Our modern calendar derives from the Roman calendar, which contained only 304 days. But even back then, they knew that a year was longer than that. So in order to keep the months and the seasons from becoming very misaligned very quickly, they inserted extra intercalary days. That is, days that existed between calendar cycles, in the same way that in sports, the off-season exists between seasons. These days covered the period that we now refer to as January and February. The Republican calendar increased its length to 355 days, which is better, but still not good enough. In addition to the changes described in the previous video, the Julian calendar lengthened the year to 365 days. But the Earth doesn't actually orbit the Sun in exactly 365 days, which makes sense because there's no reason why the Earth's rotation should evenly divide its orbit. The Earth actually takes an average of 365.2422 days to orbit the Sun. Thus, the Julian calendar introduced a leap day every four years, giving that calendar an average length of 365.25. While this is quite close, it still results in a discrepancy of just over 11 minutes every year. This would add up to a drift of one day every roughly 128 years. The Gregorian calendar, which we still use today, addresses this by adding extra rules. A year is a leap year if it's divisible by 4, with the exception being years that are divisible by 100, which is why the year 1900 was not a leap year. But if you're as old as me, you might remember that the year 2000 was a leap year, and that's because there's an exception to the exception if the year is divisible by 400. This results in years with an average length of 365.2425 days, or less than 30 seconds of drift per year. This means that the Gregorian calendar can run for over 3,000 years before it drifts a single day, which is good enough for government work.